Hi, welcome back to another episode of Plant Based Becky. I recently went on vacation to Scottsdale, Arizona for my friend Shelby's bachelorette party and I kept a food blog of my entire trip and I wanted to share it with you guys. Some people may think that being vegan is harder to eat when you're traveling, but I just like to show that it really isn't all that bad. I actually didn't pick a single restaurant on this entire trip and I was able to find something to eat at every single place that we went and overall I was pretty impressed with the food in Scottsdale and we also went up to Sedona, Arizona. So here we go, I'll show you. Fruit is such an easy breakfast to bring with you and I had some cantaloupe and grapes on the plane once we landed in Scottsdale. I drink coffee every morning and on this morning I got my Starbucks venti latte with soy milk and I used my bamboo straw instead of the plastic one. For breakfast, we stopped in at the Songbird Cafe where I had some lemonade and a chia pudding. They also had some vegan pastries, which I did not see until I was walking out, so I did not indulge, but they looked pretty good. For lunch, we went to Snooze and AM Erie, which was on the Arizona State campus, and it was super vegan friendly. There were many options. I got tofu scramble with spinach, mushroom, and onions, and it came with hash browns and whole wheat toast from a local bakery, and also a little bit of jam. For dinner, we went to Culinary Dropout, which had a vegan curry if you're into that, but I wanted something a little bit lighter. I got this kale salad, which had sweet potato, sweet potato chips, and avocado, and cauliflower, and so many other great ingredients. It was really good. We went to Bottle Blonde that evening to celebrate Shelby and I had a couple of drinks, but don't worry guys, vodka is vegan. The next morning we had a long drive up to Sedona. For breakfast I had a banana and I like them pretty ripe like this. Let me know if you do too. 
and I also had a peanut butter granola bar and coffee, but that's not pictured. Mushroom on the right side where that Jeep set it up to mushroom rock. Mm -hmm. Oil rock on the bottom. Some people tell me in the middle is like a 747 airplane. Oh, sure. I can see oh, that. Oh, yeah, I can see that. With the bottom yeah. of the plane. For lunch, we went to the Cowboy Club, which was not vegan friendly at all, but I did get to try these cactus fries. I didn't know you cactus was edible, so that was pretty cool, but I didn't like them, so not cool. And then I had a salad and french fries, which you can pretty much get at any restaurant if you're not vegan friendly, and it's still a filling meal. Dinner was at Cien Agave's, which was a Mexican restaurant, and I had some guacamole as an appetizer, and this gigantic salad, which I did not even make a dent in, guys. I took almost that entire salad home. Day three was a travel day, and I had my breakfast at the airport. Another soy iced coffee from Starbucks, a very ripe banana, and I had a nutrition bar from 22 Days Nutrition, which if you're interested, I have a coupon code down below. A couple of tips for vegan travel, I would highly recommend looking at menus ahead of time. Most places will have just a couple options on their menu, and if they don't, you can always call ahead to the restaurant, and usually they'll come up with something to make you. Another tip is just to carry food with you. For this trip, I carried protein bars and fruit, but it's just so easy to bring stuff with you, whether you're going on a plane or in a car. Um, and if you can't fit it in your luggage, then just go to a grocery store like once you get there and get some snacks and supplies to have in your hotel room or wherever you're staying. Um, that can make it a lot easier. So just in a pinch, if you are hungry, like you have something else to eat later. I guess I hoped you enjoyed this episode and I will be posting a full vlog of the entire trip and things I did with my friends while we were in Scottsdale's. So stay tuned because that's coming soon. But if you liked this video and you want more, please hit like and subscribe so you can get more from me. Bye, I can't wait to see you again next time.